My name is Forrest Gallion, and this is my dad, Bob Gallion, and we're from Gallion Kruger. Uh, we wanted to take some time today to discuss the history of the brand. Um, I've been with the company for about eight years now, but my dad, uh, who founded the company, has been doing this for over 50 years. Uh, so we're going to kind of go over uh, how the company got started, what led to some of our major our most popular designs and where we're headed in the future. Uh, so I'm going to hand it over to my dad to kind of uh, give a brief history of how everything got started. Thank you for that introduction. It's very, very thoughtful. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, as my son said, it's been over 50 years. Actually, the, the official founding was uh, 1968. But for me, it started long before that. I've been messing around with amplifiers since I was in high school. I was a musician. I was actually uh, gave music lessons at the local music store and played in the. Uh, it was a small rural town I was I grew up in, so you know we could actually play in bars when we were young. Below age, nobody seemed to that some nobody seemed to care. But anyway, um, yeah, I was always messing around with my amplifiers and um, uh, trying to figure out how they worked and how to make them do things that they didn't already do. Anyway, uh, uh, I ended up going to college, Berkeley, studying engineering. And uh, while I was there, I was still messing around with my amplifiers. I was still performing. I knew I'd never be a musician, though I, I, I really wasn't a very good musician. But I was pretty good with electronics. So uh, after uh, Berkeley, I, I went to Stanford and went also simultaneously went to work at Hewlett Packard in the microwave division. And I learned a lot about uh, uh, about electronics <laughs> while I was doing that kind of work. At any rate, I was still messing around with amplifiers in my garage, and um, I ended up making a, a 200 watt amplifier, which was pretty much unheard of in those days. A, a big amp in those days would have been 50 or 100 watts, uh, all tubes in those days, and I wanted to make solid state amplifiers. The, the challenge, of course, was uh, making them sound right, and it wasn't easy in those days. The transistors and devices that we had uh, available didn't really lend themselves very well to making good quality audio or high power. But anyway, uh, I did that and uh, I took uh, the first amplifier that I built in my garage down to the music store across the street from Stanford called Draper's Music and uh, asked him if he wanted to buy it. Yeah, that was kind of a stupid question because uh, he, he's not going to buy an amplifier from some kid. Uh, but he said, I'll I'll take it on. Uh, I'll take it on consignment. I didn't know what that meant exactly, but that sounded okay to me. And he put it on the floor in his store. And the very next day, Carlos Santana walked in and bought it. And he ended up doing his first album with it. He took it to Woodstock, and all of a sudden, uh, I started getting orders. I'm trying to build these things in my garage. Uh, I think I built uh, 25 of them in the first year, and then you know, decided I had to leave HP and. Uh, uh, you know, really struck out uh, high risk proposition making these things, but it was a good time. It was a great, it was a great time actually to be alive if you're in the music business. The '60s were really fun, and uh, it evolved into uh, what it is today, which is a, a company that makes a lot more than 25 amps a year. <laughs> a big reason we've been revamping our product lines is to streamline production, bring more processes in house to our factory in Stockton, California. Mm -hmm and just create a better, longer lasting product for the gigging musician, uh, which is always uh, who we're thinking about in designing um, all of our products. So what was going on with the older product line, it was all used a technology called through-hole technology for the circuit boards. That's the component of those little wire leads and they go through holes in the board. Those parts, because the way technology has been changing, those parts are getting harder to find, that kind of part, and the reliability of those parts is decreasing because people are forgetting how to make them. Uh, what every technology has gone to today is called surface mount, where there's no leads on the parts. They just surface mount right to the top surface of the circuit board. So uh, we're having more and more trouble either acquiring or getting good parts for through hole. So we invested in a surface mount line, a Panasonic surface mount line, 
And uh, I redesigned all of our uh, products to use surface mount technology. And at the same time, we made every improvement I could think of uh, to make the products better and more reliable. And uh, that is what resulted in the Legacy and the Fusion uh, line of products. And then, of course, we expanded that into the new combos. Um, and, uh, the, you know, the result is a much better, more reliable, and easier to produce product with parts that are, are high quality. And we source all the parts in the United States now instead of looking all over the world. So all of these new, uh, new products have just been the beginning for us in a long line of products that we yeah. are, are, are planning on releasing over the, the next years, the next decade. Um, this man has designs that could last us, uh, last us many a lifetime, um, but we have big plans of, of continually improving um, our existing product lines and, and bringing out uh, new products that are using uh, our upgraded technology and upgraded processes. Um, the big thing that we are planning for uh, releasing towards the end of the year is going to be an upgrade to the RB series and the Fusion 550 series, uh, which we lovingly call lead sleds. We want to uh, thank everyone for their support uh, for these last 50 plus years. Um, we're really excited about the future. We're really excited about the future of our industry, of where uh, base ampli uh, amplification can go. And um, we have a lot of fun stuff in store. And um, uh, we look forward to sharing, um, sharing some new products and, and new designs and um, new technology uh, with everyone in the coming years.